All right guys, welcome back to another Scythe Plush video. I know it's been a while since I last uploaded and that's because one, I was trying to finish up Moon Girl season two and I was finishing up Persona 3 Reload. Uh, those are two really good things that just came out recently. And you know, I had to dedicate my time to both of those. So that's my bad, but I am finally back. And today I'm gonna to show you guys how to make an animated PNG. And these are the same steps I used to make my animated PNG, the one you currently see on screen right now. And I know by the video length, it seems like it's gonna be long, but honestly, it's really not gonna take long. It's actually a really short process and we're gonna get right into it so let's start off by talking about the things you'll need and you only need two things you only need your drawing software and your video editing software that's literally it now let's hop right into our drawing software all right so I'm gonna to try to make this really simple for you guys so basically what you want to do first is have your base for the uh, animated PNG and you want to make sure that you don't draw any eyes on it or the mouth because you're gonna be doing that on a separate layer so then once you have your base you then want to move on to drawing the eyes and for me, I basically drew three different eyes. One is wide open, well not wide open, but you know, open. And then the second one is slightly closed. And the third one is closed. Actually for all the parts of the PNG that are gonna be animated, you only need like three frames. And that's literally it. And then you wanna move on to the mouth. And what I did, I put the mouth in the uh, same uh, folder, like one of the mouths. So that's the first frame. And then this is the second. And then this is the third. And you can see that the mouth just gets wider. And then I made another one where the mouth is uh, kind of like a neutral expression. So you have the mouth kind of like in a neutral and then it opens and then it gets wider like that. And that's really all you gotta do. Just make three different uh, mouths. Just make one neutral or happy or whatever. And then make it open and then make the third one uh, bigger than the second frame. And that's it. And for this last part, you don't have to do this technically, but it does look better and this is uh the chin moving so you can see right here that i made the chin a little lower and then i made it even lower right here so it kind of looks like uh you know the png is like talking and this is going to go along with the mouth moving as well so that's why i made the chin move as well because it looks you know more realistic and then i'm gonna show you what i did for this so basically all i did was draw another chin as another layer and then I colored under it the same skin color as the base so that when you put it in the uh, video editing software, uh, you can just put it on top of the base instead of uh, having to export it along with the uh, base because then you have to export so many frames and that would take uh, a little while. Not even a little while, it would probably take a long time. So this strategy really works well because it saves a lot of time. And this strategy is actually based on uh, the sprites used in the Persona series because those ones just have a regular base and then the chin moves on like a separate layer. And I thought that was really smart how they did that. So I've decided to kind of use that in my uh, animated PNG as well. So once you have all this here, you wanna make sure that you export everything you need separately. So we can use each and every layer uh, by itself when we get into the video editing software. And in this video, I'm gonna be using Sony Vegas Pro 14. There might be a free trial for this, I don't know, but you can use any video editing software you want. It just has to be able to export a video uh, with a transparent background and that's it. So basically in your video editing software, you're gonna wanna have four different rows. All right, so this is post editing Scythe Plush here. And in the video, I forgot to show you guys how to add another row or a track as it's called. And that's what I'm here to do now because honestly, I don't know why I assumed you would know how to do this already if this is your first time using the software, but it's really simple. All you gotta do is come down here to this little gray area and then right click and then click on insert video track and that's it and if you want to drag the video track all you got to do is just come over here and grab it and hold and then drag it to wherever you want it and yeah back to the video the first row is going to be used for the eye animation the second row is going to be used for the mouth animation the third row is going to be used for the jaw animation and the fourth row is just your base first you can go ahead and put your base in the fourth row because we're not going to be doing anything with that uh, just put that there for right now and then we're going to move on to the first row So the first image you're going to be using is the eye open and that's going to last 40 frames And the second one is going to be the eye slightly closed and that's going to last for six frames And the third one's going to be the eye closed and that's going to last for 10 frames Then you're going to do the eye slightly closed for six frames Then the eye open for six frames then the eye slightly closed for six frames Then the eye closed for six frames and then the eye slightly closed for six frames again and then the eye open for 40 frames and that's all you need to do for the eyes uh, i should have like a uh an image of how it should look on the screen hopefully that makes it easier to understand because it could seem like a lot and for the second row you want to start off by having the mouth closed for 10 frames 
and then the mouth open for 10 frames. And then under it on the third row, you wanna put the open jaw image there for the same amount of frames. Then we move back onto the second row and you wanna put the mouth wide open for six frames. And then under that on the third row, you wanna put the wide open jaw image for the same amount of frames. And every time the mouth opens, you wanna put the open jaw image under it on the third row. And every time the mouth opens wide, you wanna put the wide open jaw image under that in the third row as well. And I'm only saying that right here because I'd be repeating this multiple times in this part and that's a lot of speaking. From there, you want to go back to the second row and put the mouth closed, lasting for 14 frames, then the mouth open for 10 frames, then the mouth closed for 6 frames, then the mouth open for 10 frames, then the mouth closed for 6 frames, mouth open again for 10 frames, mouth closed for 14 frames, then mouth open for 6 frames, then mouth wide open for 6 frames, mouth closed for 6 frames, and then mouth open for 10 frames. So then once you're done with that, you should have something that looks like this. And if we play it, hopefully it does not lag or stutter. It should look something like this. And then boom, you have your animated PNG. And then from there, I will show you how to export it transparently on Vegas Pro. But if you have another video editing software, you probably want to look up on YouTube how to export a video on whatever it is with a transparent background. And if your video editing software supports that, then you should find a tutorial there. But I'm gonna show you how to do it on Vegas Pro. So all you wanna do is first make sure that there is uh, nothing on this row right here. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of this white part right here. That was the background. So get rid of the background, make sure there's nothing under it. Then you wanna make sure whatever you wanna render is selected. So how I do this in Vegas Pro is I make sure uh, I have the only thing I want rendered to be selected with these little uh, markers up here. Uh, all you gotta do is just double tap and they'll appear and then you just gotta drag them to the section you want rendered. So you should see these uh, yellow things from start to end and that's the part that will be rendered. And then once you're done with that, uh, you go to render and then once you click on render, you wanna scroll all the way down to QuickTime 7. If you don't see this on Vegas Pro, all you gotta do is download QuickTime. Uh, there should be a couple tutorials out there on how to download it. It's really simple, it's not hard, but this is the main component you'll need to uh, export it as a transparent background. Because if you don't have this, it's not gonna work. And then from there, uh, I believe I chose the, um, the last option here. And then I went to custom template and I'm gonna show you the settings I had and you can just copy it from there. And these are the settings right here. So make sure they line up exactly. And the video part is the only part that needs to be the same. The audio doesn't matter. It's just the video part. So then once you have that, uh, you can just go hit uh, okay and it'll show up as like a, uh, as another section under this. And then you can just bookmark it and then it'll show up on your favorites. So then once you're done with that, then you just render it. And then from there, you wanna drag in uh, the video from your files and it should show up like this. And you don't need the audio uh, little thing down here. You can just press U on it or make sure you click on it and then press U and then right click and then delete and then drag this up here. Uh, you can see that mine is uh, well a little longer than how it should be. And this is because I, uh, uh, I have multiple different versions of this same expression. So that's why it's longer. But you can see that you can't see the white in the background. You can still see how it's black. So what you want to do is right click on the video, click on properties, then head over to media. And then from there, you want to go to alpha channel and then click on straight unmatted and then click on OK. And you can see that now there's no background. And if we play the video, you should see the animation in full effect. Hopefully this video was a good tutorial and uh, let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions about the video. But yeah, that's the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out. Yeah.